So hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is probably the part two of the last video. In the last video, we made a Node.js and Express.js server and connected it to our database. And then we basically the server just requested the database for some data and and get some data. Now we will use that server and fetch data on our front end so it will make a link in which i have a front end which will request the server for some data and then the server will fetch get the data from the database and give it to the front end so let's get started so hi guys welcome back to another video i hope you have watched the part one in which we can for this purpose, I have a backend folder which we configured last in our last video in which I made a server and configured my database and connected my database and made a basic get request. Now, in this video, we will make a basic front end and will fetch data from the backend to the front end. So, for this, I have made a and let's make initialize our front end npm create wheat at latest it will initialize a react app but we can also create react app with using npx create react app but that process is usually slow so i'm gonna name it front end okay we're gonna select here react and simple javascript okay so it has already created a folder front end let's just change our directory to front end now let me tell you about the basic folder structure it has it has a public folder a source folder and in which assets when we will use npx react create react app we will not have any of these folders but wheat has already created the source and asset folder for us so now without wasting any time let's just run it npm one dev oh npm first we all we have to do npm install And after that, we will do npm run dev. So, yes, we are ready to go. Let's just use npm run dev. And our app is just start. So, you can see that it's just basically loading. Yes, so it has basically just given us a template when account is increasing. So, we do not need all this stuff. So I am gonna empty all of this app.css and we do not need this. We do not need this. And this is basically our starter. And let's just write a basic and write hi I am front end. And let's just see our app. How is it holding up? It has basically written hi, I am front end. So now we have to get our backend and connect it through it. So for this purpose, I will use two packages import uh, use two hooks use state and use effect hook. Use effect and use state hook these are basically gonna help us get the data so now let's just start and first of all let's make a basic use effect hook to just fetch our data from the back end i will explain you how i do it so as you know we have a basic uh, uh, this get statement in which we were just listening our port to localhost 3000 and backslash card so i will use the same data for that purpose uh, fetch here we will use fetch and we will write our 
local host suite i have just basically this control c local host 3000 backslash card backslash card this will gonna give us data turn dot then you're gonna get the result we are gonna store it in the json format result dot json and dot then let's just console log it for now so let's see as we know we do not have a backend right now so just inspect it and see what's going on so we are so let's just start our backend now so for this purpose i will make an other terminal and I'll write con cd backend change direct and let's just start our backend npm start it's gonna just start our backend and our back is gonna get yes and let's just write card here so it is we are basically getting all the data so result is not defined yes so we are writing here result Yes, so now basically I was not writing the local host properly. So we have to write HTTP dot slash slash all the things. Now dot then result dot JSON and that then we have just console log the result. So as you can see, let me reload the page and we are getting this record set array and a record set of five. All that which is on our serving on our backend. We are getting all that stuff so that's good so now we are going to use use state hook to just um, basically just set my data I'm gonna use const data set data is equals to use state and an empty array of objects and so now there where we are doing it console log we can just set our data set data and result dot uh we are going to use the record set okay because it contains the five of array record set r e c o r d s e t record set let me just see how my front end is going so as we have removed the console log so we can see that we have fetched the data so after that we can just have a basic console log of the our data which we have just made a state and yes we are getting unlimited data because it is constantly updated so it is gonna cause problem for let's reload the page so yes we are getting that data this is for sure now i am going to use the map property to show you the data so let's just make data dot map and let's just get the put on every instance d dot map we are going to return something what are we going to return is um, no let's we are just returning one thing so we do not need this return let's return a div let's return a div containing a paragraph in which we will get 
this is um let's just check what's going on you're gonna wait high here and yeah it's working fine so let's just we were mapping on that so we need to see what type of object do we have here so let me just outside the use effect hook i'll just console log my date for instance let's just inspect and see no we are getting it all really lot of times so we have to do an empty dependency array here uh, let's add it and let's just then console log our data and we have just reload the page we got the date so it contains car number car type id pin expiry date so we can write that so we can now just write that this is this is let's write here d dot mm, card number card number let's just control s it and we are returning here this. so yeah it is returning our the our card number which is one two three four one two three five so okay so we can just basically just as you can see we have getting the data and we can also map on it so we can write this card number has a pin of this card number has a pin and we can just say that d dot um, p i n p i n control s and we can see this card has up in 1200 and basically we are getting one error here and we are just saying each style analyst should have a unique key so we can basically give it any key let's write i and we can give it a key of i and let's just save it and reload it and every error is gone we are just getting messages let's just we also don't need this console log and we don't also need this high so as you can see that we have basically we fetch data from our backend and displayed it on our front end using the fetch api and that's it if we if i close my backend let's suppose i close my backend and just reload it so i we i'll get no data as my backend is just shut down so i have to need my backend running to just to basically serve my data so that's it for today in the further video which we'll be uploading next week we will discuss how to read update and delete all that stuff so stay tuned if you find any problems related to that ping me in the comments make sure you subscribe and hit the like button for videos like this and i hope to see you soon and you can also suggest me what topics should i make the next video stay tuned bye bye allah hafiz